coach, maybe not the start you were necessarily looking for, but maybe not all that surprising coming off a lengthy road trip that it took a while to get the legs going? Well, even in the third period, I don't think we found our legs the whole game. Uh, it felt like it was the seventh game of a road trip, really. Um, <clears throat> and we expected it. I, I think we, we've we played good, <coughs> good enough to, to win. Because we uh, <clears throat> we blocked some shots, we managed the game at times. Special teams, no goals against on the PK. Scored a big goal on the power play. The timing of the goal was uh, important, um, but it was uh, we needed uh, we need we needed some details of the game to be there. Like again, blocking shots and strong strong goaltending, and and we had it. Yeah, fortunately, I guess your goalie was on the top of his game because if not, that could have uh, gotten away from you, I guess, early and often. Yeah, he, he was good. Um, Hutch was really good, and we needed that. And there's there's some times in the season when you look at the schedule, there's some times in the season where you need your goalie to be really good, and we knew this one was to be a tough one, and um, he came out uh, really good. He's had the right attitude all along here, right? I mean, he probably yeah. would like to be playing more than he is, but... I'm sure he knows the situation and he's what I ask what I hope that he does uh, is to uh, focus on his game um, play well when he's called upon and be a good teammate and he's been doing that he's uh, he's been great around the team um, he's he's, um, he's he's good in the room so we have no issue with Hutch and then I guess with you know, Brennan coming back into the lineup and you guys healthy and that, is it maybe going to take a bit of time to find some cohesion with some of these <clears throat> new groups and players that maybe haven't played a lot with each other? Yeah, well, I guess there's there's the synergy you're looking for and you can build over time for sure. And tonight I had a hard time finding the right combination or the right synergy, so we tried different, different things. Uh, but I didn't mind what I've seen in the third period uh, with Nick Patan and Jack Roslovic. Um, two guys that can play in the middle and Jack and, and Nick Petan and uh, with his size and his speed and his shot that can be a good combination but it's it's always you know uh, even though it was just a small sample and he went with the Jets only for a short period of time it's still an adjustment to come back and he hasn't practiced in two days and so it's it's um, I think he played pretty good for a guy that just came back from the Jets. Coach you've played Jack Rosevick I think six or seven games on the wing. What do you like about him on the wing? His speed. I think he's what what I know he's a good centerman and I know he can run his routes as a centerman really good. And um, but I like the way you look at him the way he um, he gets the puck out uh, under pressure on the board and his speed uh, when he's moving his feet his, uh, his legs and, and moving his feet and then trying to beat defense uh, defenseman um, with his skills and, and the way he moves his feet, it's pretty hard to play against. So uh, for him to play the wing and, and get used to play the wing, he, I, he was drafted as a winger, um, so he knows how to play that position, but he hasn't played it in a long time, and we want him to be comfortable. I, I, you know, He might be back in the, set, in the middle soon, I'm not sure yet, but um, we want him to, we want for him to feel good at both positions. Your second line has been really good with Appleton, Scarbosa, and, and Buddy Robinson. You broke it up to start the game, but then in that third period, you went back to them. Did you like what you saw from them in the third? Well, I didn't like. Uh, well, I didn't like. Um, I, I I wanted to find some combinations that um, guys felt comfortable trying to find that synergy again, and it started with uh, bringing back Cormier with uh, Lipon. Those two have played together for a while, and then Scarbosa's line together. They've been pretty good for a long time together so um, that, that's how we uh, figured it out after the second period or we tried to figure it out or, or find some more synergy better synergy um, but uh, yeah those guys is um, they've been playing pretty good together and Appleton is a good example of a guy that uh, can play the center can play the wing um, and he's a righty playing on the left side and he's been adjusting really well um, Scarbo and, and uh, Buddy Robinson are veteran players. They, they have a lot of experience, and that, that, that line has been carrying the team for uh, multiple games. Speaking of multiple games, you have five wins in your last six games. Overall, how are you feeling about the moves? I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good because we uh, find uh, ways to win games. The, the games that we've won on the road trip, we've played really, really good, and we were the better team on the ice. Um, 
but when you're not going or it's not going your way um, in order to find a way to win games like tonight you need a good team chemistry and the guys in the third period supporting each other being um, really alert on the bench and aware of what's going on and what was going on and, and the, 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 the communication between the line mates and forwards and defensemen uh, was pretty good so um, winning helps a lot of in, in a lot of uh, ways and um, it builds some confidence in what we do and it's uh, it's good for our young prospects to go through this and, and for our veterans to be rewarded. I just had one tactical question on that power play that you guys scored the winner on. Uh, you know, it's not a penalty call you see very often. It was a throwing the equipment penalty that, uh, or um, what was the call? Or how I, didn't, I didn't, I didn't uh, talk to the referee about that one, so I'm not sure what uh, what was his shooting a stick reason, or yes. something like that. Yeah. Not a not a call you see very often. No. But, and the power play, especially in the first period, did not look very threatening uh, tonight. So nice to come through with a power play goal. Yeah, in the third there. but you know, power play. I've been studying the power play for a long time, and the timing of the goals is as important as um, the amount. Well, you want to score every time for sure, or you want to create some momentum. Um, but that goal was pretty big, and, and we were in the top ten. We're ninth. We were ninth before the game on the power play, and we're. I think uh, sixth before tonight on the PK. So our special teams have been going pretty well, and there, there's a, there's a confidence factor in in those guys that they know they can score goals, and, and that goal was big at the right time.